As the death toll rises, officials say there is still hope of finding survivors following the building collapse in Surfside, Florida. Four deaths are now confirmed and 159 people are still unaccounted for. Heavy equipment is being brought in to assist with the search and rescue efforts. Here's a live look at that site as the search continues this afternoon. CBS News' Laura Podesta has more. Rescue crews are working nonstop from above and below in hopes of finding survivors of the partial building collapse in Surfside. But overnight, they pulled more bodies from the rubble. This has been a tragic night. During our search and rescue operations, uh, we did encounter three uh, uh, victims that were deceased. Teams focused on finding people alive are concentrating their search in areas where they hear sounds. It's not specifically, you know, human sounds. It could be, you know, tapping. It could be steel, uh, you know, kind of twisting. One Miami-Dade fire rescue team used heavy equipment in the basement parking garage, risking their own lives. Debris is falling on them as they do their work, but they... They are proceeding because they are so motivated. It is mentally and physically exhausting, but all that hits you when you're done. Dr. Howard Lieberman is a medical manager with the Urban Search and Rescue Task Force. So basically, they're sort of delayering the pile. So they take off one layer at a time. We go in, we search, see if we can find anything. If not, they take off another layer. Friends and family of those who are unaccounted for say they are so grateful for the firefighters and other rescuers who are working around the clock to try and find their loved ones as they pray for a miracle. I just want my mom, like, I, I want to go back a day mm -hmm. and, and change everything. Rachel Spiegel's 65-year-old mother, Judy, is one of the many who remain missing. And as the search for victims continues, so does the search for answers. Buildings don't fall down in America. There was something seriously, seriously wrong here. At the time of this collapse, the 40-year-old building was undergoing routine inspection. Laura Podesta, CBS News, Surfside, Florida. And we have just learned the first lawsuit was filed in the building collapse just a short time ago. And stay with CBS2 for continuing coverage of the deadly building collapse. Look for updates on the search and rescue efforts on CBSNewYork.com.